Hello folks, business lease deals of the month coming up. So these are all excluding VAT. Uh, lots of these are two year deals, but also some three year deals. And I've just done all of them on 10,000 miles a year. Click the link to Lease Loco in the video description and pins the top comment. You can have a fiddle around with it yourself. Um, we're starting off with all the commercial vehicles and then we're going into the cars. The cars are primarily electric cars because I'm thinking about company car tax, but there might be the odd plug-in hybrid in there for you as well. Let's get started with what seems like ridiculous value. Look at this little van. Now, it is very limited. It's got 145 miles of range. It's a BYD ETP3. I checked one of these out a couple of weeks ago at Everything Electric. 185 quid a month with 557 up front on a two-year lease. Um, it is just a small sort of no frills van but if you're doing local deliveries maybe you've got a local business where you're delivering locally you might even be sort of a local trade or something uh, this could be quite a decent little van for you 700 quid a month on average at its peak 796 look at this i don't know who's paid 800 quid a month for one of those but they need their heads reading however at the moment 185 quid a month has only got 145 miles of range and obviously once you get that loaded with kit that range is going to drop um, but certainly one to consider uh, another little uh, electric van um, just an l1 van nissan townstar 178 miles of range on this one you see the average price on that's been 271 pounds 55 um, it's currently 195 with 586 up front, so that looks like a reasonable deal right now. And if you want a slightly bigger van, you've got the Renault Kangoo L2. This one's the advanced trim with the safety pack, 186 miles of range. And price history on that one, 441 has been the average on it. It has been a bit up and down in recent months, um, but currently 212 with 636 up front on a two year lease. The good old Transit Custom 320 L2 2 litre Eco Blue H1, um, 33.6 mpg. You've got nearly 1.2 tonne payload. Everyone knows what a Transit is, don't they? 524 has been the average on it, currently 440 with 1300 up front on a two year lease. If you went to a three year lease, it only puts eight quid a month on it. Um, so it might be worth considering that. VW Amarok A32 double cab pickup Aventura, three litre V6 TDI 244M auto. Is that enough of a title for you? I think so. 28 MPG, 0.9 tonne payload, 14.70 up front and 4.90 a month on a two year lease. 602 a month it's been on average. Um, at its peak, it was 995. And at its lowest point, it was about 20 quid a month less than it is now. Uh, 0 to 62 is nine seconds on that one, by the way. Great thing to drive, by the way. I've, I've driven one of these a couple of times. I've driven all its major rivals. And I think it's actually really, really good and very competitive in its space. Um, that, as I said, is a two-year deal. If you went up to three years on it, it becomes way less attractive. It goes up by 87 quid a month. So I think the two-year deal on that one is the sweet spot. Land Rover Defender 90. This is obviously the commercial version. Um, Hardtop X Dynamic HSE Auto. Three seats in this one. 33 MPG. 739 a month on average. At its peak, over a grand. At its lowest point, 0. 0.614. It's currently 627. So that's not far off at the lowest price we've seen it. So if you want to scratch that itch and get yourself in one of those monsters, it might be the time to do it. Onto the cars. We're starting off with a Nissan Leaf. You know, it's been around for a long time now. 168 miles of range. 523 up front and 174 a month on a three-year lease. Um, price history on that average has been 219 currently 174 if you want something a bit spicy you've got a little mg4 x power uh, 778 up front and 259 a month now the real story with this one is that 0 62 time of 3.8 seconds at 435 brake horsepower 289 liters of boot space in the last couple of months the prices have really dropped on these and you'll find it difficult to get something with this kind of performance for this kind of money um lowest point on it was one pound 50 less than it is right now uh 259 a month with 778 up front mini countryman is next it's the e-sport automatic 276 miles of range 460 litre boot 204 brake horsepower 987 up front and 329 a month um great car to drive Really nice interior. 
amazing infotainment system and stuff. I, I really like what they're doing with Mini at the moment. 987 up front and 329 a month. That compares to an average of 527 and a peak price of 777. Uh, VW ID7 Tora Match Pro 77 kilowatt hour automatic. You can also get the saloon version of this for pretty much the same money. Uh, 336 a month with a grand up front. If you're looking for a company car, look no further. This does the job, or indeed so does the saloon. 373 miles of range, 605 litres of boot space, 286 brake horsepowers, and 6.6 .6 seconds to 62 makes that a perfect company car, I think, um, particularly for people doing longer journeys, etc. Uh, 426 has been the average on it. At its peak, it was 531. Um, and its lowest point, it was only a tenner less than it is right now. 336 a month with just over a grand up front. Now, this is even quicker than that MG. It's the Volvo EX30 Twin Motor Performance Plus. 353 a month with uh, 1,059 up front. 0.62 on this one, 3.6 seconds. Uh, 279 miles of range, 428 brake horsepower, insurance group 40, 318 litres of boot space. Average on it's been 522, currently 353. Mercedes EQA 250 Plus Sport Executive, 354 a month with just over a grand up front, 346 miles of range, 340 litres of boot space and a 0 to 62 of 8.6. 694 has been the average on this. Can you believe that? At its peak, it was 897 quid a month. And you'll see the pricing's just been so erratic on it. It's been unbelievable. This is a three-year deal. Um, 354 quid a month is basically half the average price it's been at. So that looks like a real bit of value at the moment. Um, can you go wrong at that kind of price? Hyundai Ioniq 6 Premium is next. Nearly 1,100 up front and 362 a month. 339 miles of range. If you plug this into the right charger, it will charge at an absolute rate of knots that you probably won't quite believe. Insurance Group 36, 0 to 62 in 7.4. 395 a month has been the average price on it. 528 at its peak. Currently 362 with nearly 1100 up front then we got the lexus the nx 450h plus this one's a plug-in hybrid 369 pounds a month with 1100 up front 6.3 seconds to 62 and 520 liters of boot space uh, 401 has been the average on this the peak on it was 466 we're currently at 369 which is only a five or more than this car was at its absolute lowest point to date VW ID Buzz, 433 quid a month with 1300 up front, 1121 litres of boot space, 251 miles of range, uh, 482 a month on average, currently 433 with 1300 up front. And then we've got some big exec stuff here. BMW i7 E-Drive, excellent. 743 quid a month with 2,231 up front, 378 miles of range, 455 brake horsepower and 500 litres of boot space. Um, also some good deals on the plug-in hybrid, the big, uh, what is it, the 750M or something, 740M. Um, some good deals on that at the moment for similar money to this if you still fancy being able to put some petrol in. Price history on this one, 823 a month on average, 1229 at its peak. It has been about 80 quid a month lower than this at some point in the past. But at the moment, um, that looks pretty good, certainly against that peak and against that average. If you did want to look at that plug-in hybrid, 4.8 seconds to 62 in that. 525 litres of boot space, 794 at the moment versus an average of 1171, 2382 up front on that one. Finally, we've got the Lotus Elytra, 450 kilowatt automatic, 373 miles of range, 688 litres of boot space and a 0-62 time of four and a half seconds, 2200 up front, 738 a month. Uh, average on that one's been just over a grand a month. Um, at its peak, it was 12.66 a month. So there you go. If you've always wanted a Lotus, 
maybe you can do it with your business. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Please use that link to Lisa Loco that's in the video description. There's two links, actually, one for the business car deals and one for the uh, commercial vehicles. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe and come back for more. See you soon. Huge thanks to all my channel members for your continued support. I really do appreciate it.